What's up guys, it's Ryan with the MXG channel again. I'm back today to talk about something Husqvarna. Um, so in, in the years past and in the years since KTM has uh, acquired Husky, they've been kind of quiet about it. They, uh, you know, it's the premier brand, it's the most expensive brand. Um, they tried some cool stuff on the Huskies first with the split number plate and the uh, carbon composite subframes and stuff like that. But generally what we see is KTM, uh, you know, the orange bikes getting all the promotion, um, all the, all the you know, jazz around them. And the Husky kind of sits quietly back there. And uh, there hasn't been a lot of, they, they don't put near as much effort into the pr promotional material for Husky and the hype and all that. Uh, we've got all these teaser videos about KTM. Um, now it's true, some of the spy photos did feature Huskies, but uh, I think that's because the Husky plastic is so similar to the last generation that at a first glance, most people aren't gonna notice. But, uh, as you know, KTM released their 2023 Enduro line uh, last week, or a few days ago, and uh, we still haven't seen anything from Husky, so they haven't released anything. They haven't changed their website. All their website stuff is still 2022, with the exception of the mini cycles. Yes, they quietly released the mini cycles last week. Um, they released them on their Facebook, and they updated their website. They're all 2023s. Now, they're unchanged virtually, but we can clearly see the color scheme, and that clues us off that you know that's gonna be the same color scheme or extremely close to what the big bikes are. And I'll tell you, man, they look pretty sweet. So first of all, we see that the, the shrouds and the top of the number plate that, that comes up above the tank there, especially on the, I'm looking at the 50 here, um, it's all gray. And uh, I will say, man, that, uh, you know, the Husky white, it looks fantastic when the bike's brand new, but I feel like if Husky would have jumped in and just taking control, grab that gray color from the beginning instead of making white, you know, their color, I think they would have sold a lot more bikes. I think uh, while the white looks great, I think a lot of people think it, get, it gets pretty dingy pretty quick. Um, I love the gray. And so they went with a gray and high vis scheme on the sides this year, but they still kept a lot of white. So the front fender is still white. Um, it's really got about an equal amount of white high vis and gray all over the bike. Uh, I really wish they'd have just got rid of the white and did it all in gray with high vis, um, would have been sick. But probably the most interesting thing they've done is if you take a look under the rear fender, it's all high vis. That entire piece of plastic is high vis. Um, that's a pretty bold move, I think. And uh, I do think it'll, it'll do a little better with mud stains and stuff than the white, but um, Guys, I think the big bikes are going to be very close to this. I don't know if they'll have that complete high vis, um, you know, under piece to the rear fender, but I do know that they are, they will at least look the same on the sides with the gray and high vis, which is pretty sweet. Um, we still see a blue frame. I fully expect to see a blue frame on the full size Huskies as well. But, uh, yeah, I just got, thought it was a little mind blowing that Husky just released the mini cycles and then just pretty much showed us what the big bikes were gonna look like without doing any kind of promo or teaser or release on the big bikes whatsoever. But I would expect the Husky website to update any time with the 2023 Enduro models. And, you know, just a reminder, they're, they're gonna be unchanged. TPI is TPI, it's gonna be all the same as the KTM. Um, I've had a lot of people comment on the videos really confused. I thought you were talking about updates for the last six months and the bikes are unchanged. Guys, if, you, if you're not aware, you're new to the whole KTM group, the Enduro models, which would be the XCWs, the TEs, the EXCs, those all stay the same for an extra year. They're on a year, they're a year behind the cycle that the XCs and SXs are on. So that's what's been announced so far. The SX and XC will be announced May 10th. Those will be the new platform. The four stroke is not much of a secret because we've already got the factory editions out there. The two strokes are what we're really uh, trying to learn about. We know that they're, uh, one more time, we know that they're throttle body fuel injected. 
We know that there's all new 125 and, and 250 motor, uh, including 150 and 300. Uh, we know they're electric start without option for backup kick. We know the 125's got an electronic power valve. Um, you know, that's about all we know. So I dropped the video earlier showing you the best picture that's surfaced so far from those. Um, so go check it out if you haven't already. But uh, I don't know. They stepped it up. This, the Huskies with this gray look pretty cool this year too. So uh, we'll just have to see. All right. I appreciate you guys, and uh, if you appreciate these videos, you can hit the red subscribe button. Let today be the day I earned it. If you want to go one step further, you can click the bell so you know when I drop these and you don't miss them. And if you want to go crazy and like support this channel and get me one step closer to the dream, then uh, hit the blue join button and join the race team. It's 99 cents, or you can join at 4.99 and get your name on my outros. Um, either way even if you're just watching. I appreciate you. I'll see you in the next one.